guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to present you the new Vapefly Brunhilde MTL RTA. This is a collaboration between Vapefly and the German 103 team. The first version of this RTA, I, will, I also have a video for that on my channel, the dual coil version, the bigger version, and now they came up with a single coil MTL or restricted direct long RTA. And this is the packaging for it. Go nice packaging. You've got all the Vapefly social media right there if you want to check them out. Email, website, Facebook, Instagram. So that was the packaging. And then inside of the packaging you will get a little card here from the German 103 design team. who they are and then all the members of this 103 design team. Then you will get a user manual, pretty detailed manual with pictures, multi-language as it should be. You will also get two pieces of angled cotton and two pre-made coils, NI, NI80 MTL coils, two and a half ID, one ohm coil, 26 gauge. This is what the coil looks like. I already used one to test. They're not bad, these coils. Then you will also get a spare glass, a 510 drip tip, an MTL drip tip with a narrow bore. A good looking drip tip if you like these types of drip tips. You will get a bag of spares with a tri tool Allen key. A bunch of O-rings, eight extra post screws, hex head screws. I've got the uh, flat head screws installed right now, and then you will also get two extra spare wicking cables here. And then your airflow inserts, but we'll go over this shortly. And then here it is, so this is the Brunhilde. Brunhilde, Brunhilde, MTL RTA, a top coiler RTA, looks wise, I really like the looks for this tank, it's a nice looking design that they got going on here, I also liked it on the first version, the dual coil, but that was a lot bigger, let me give you some dimensions for this one, So it's a 23 millimeter RTA from top to bottom here, including the provided drip tip 55. And with this drip tip, it will be even a little bit longer as well. So you got this drip, this one was stock installed, it's a shorter one. 510 drip tip, you can fit your, your other 510s on this, no issues at all. And this is what it looks like with the other drip tip. I'm going to leave both drip tips off because I'm going to use my own drip tip on this. Then on the bottom you've got Brazil, your serial number, designed by, by German 103 team and manufactured by Vapefly. You've got a very long and protruding 510 pin, so this is totally hybrid safe. Your top cap here, you've got the Brunhilde logo on one side. This is where your airflow comes in. This is adjustable, of course. And when you spin this around, we see the three dots here, the liquid drops. This is where you can fill up your tank. Remember, same thing as on the first version, you need a, a small tip on your bottle in order to fill this tank. That was the same thing on the other version. The top cap on the inside, still a little bit wet, I cleaned it out before I shoot the video, of course. Not a lot of dooming going on on the inside here.
and then you can disassemble the tank of course you need to unscrew this part there you go and then you can take the glass out the o-ring came out as well this is how you replace your glass section 5 ml of e-liquid capacity on this tank and then when you look on this side you will see your stainless steel wicking cables they will feed the liquid up to the build deck if you're not familiar with this style of wicking it's yeah it's kind of a german thing a lot of tanks use it I always try not to get my hands on these stainless steel cables too much because the grease or the sweat of your hands can affect the wigging so I always keep my hands off them and then this is what your build deck looks like so you've got your post facing each other no matter how you wrap your coil it's easy to install the coil on this you've got a little latch as well to keep your wire in and then your wicks you will place them on the stainless steel cable and then in the middle here you have your airflow you can run it like this so all the way open but they give you some airflow inserts for this the airflow control screw and these are the sizes so 0 0.9 1.2 1.4 1.8 2.1 and a 2.5 millimeter insert so from a tight mtl to a restricted direct lung and for me today i'm going to use the 2.1 i already tried the 1.4 millimeter the mtl with the provided mtl coil i'll show you a picture right now of that build So that was the MTL coil that I ran previously and now I'm going for a restricted direct lung vape. You need to drop the airflow insert in the middle there and then screw it down. There you go, that's the airflow insert installed. It's nice that you get the option to use either MTL or restricted direct lung. You've got a lot of airflow options. And then to build this, I'm gonna use my standard, my yeah, kind of benchmark coil. My simple fused Clapton coil. This should ohm out 0.5 ohm. About yeah, about 0.5 ohm. I use these coils a lot. We loosen up post screws and then you just drop your coil under the post there and you go and then you tighten it down as I said before I changed out the deck screws from the hex head screws to the flat head screws just because yeah i like the flat head screws a little bit better than the hex screws and that's my coil almost installed right there this is a three millimeter coil that i'm going to use right now There you go, and now you snip off the remaining leads. So that's the coil installed. I'm satisfied with the coil position. Now I'm going to prepare the coil, remove the hot spots, and so on. And I'll see you back in a minute. So here we are again, coil glowing nice and evenly. I already put some cotton through it. 
of course to wick it my favorite cotton the Valhalla cotton and then wicking this is very very simple very easy to wick this one what you just need to do is you need to cut off your wicks and then you simply just just tuck them on the stainless steel cable just gently tuck your cotton on there don't push it on the cable no just let it rest on the cable that's all you need to do to get this wicking same thing on the other side not too much cotton just let it rest on top of the cable and that should be fine like it is the stainless steel cables that depends on capillary reaction get some liquid on it first here you go ready to vape now put the top cap back on it the o-ring tolerances are good I'm gonna use a little bit more matching drip tip and this is what it looks like the Brunhilde on my Asmodus Minikin Kadama good looking combination that's what I like as I said oh the comb coil ohmed out at the point 6 ohm yeah that's good as well 25 watts Let's give it a vape with the airflow all the way open. I'm going to let you hear the airflow close to the mic all the way open with a 2.1 millimeter insert. It's a nice and smooth draw not turbulent at all no a nice and smooth draw not too much as airflow as well as you see there the coil is pretty close up to the drip tip so make sure it doesn't touch the drip tip I forgot to show you how to fill the tank, but yeah, you, you know how it works. You got the hole there, you fill it up, and you're good to go. And the stainless steel cables, they will do the rest. They will feed the liquid up to your cotton. Capillary action. A good and nice vape on this with this restricted direct lung insert that I got going on right now as I said the first build I used was with a 0.9 millimeter insert that's real tight MTL then I went for the 1.4 that was also kind of tight MTL but now I went for my benchmark coils my 0 0.5 0 0.6 ohm Fused Clapton coil for my restricted direct lung and I used a 2.1 millimeter insert and this is a good vape you can compare it to an RDA yeah it's basically an RDA with a tank underneath it you've got the good flavor of an RDA the full flavor the coil is right underneath your drip tip so there's no loss in flavor or anything like that let me give it a good a couple of chain vape pulls to see if it keeps up with the wicking Whew. it's getting very cloudy in here but I got some seven or eight good pulls on it 
Now let's see. And yeah, my cotton is still still saturated. As you see the cotton is still wet, so it keeps up with the wicking there. No issues. Yeah, for me, I like this. I like this RTA. It's kind of on the tall side. You need to be a fan of that. But it's a German style. They always use the the tall tanks. It looks good on this as modus mod. And it's a good vape. You can get it down to a tight MTL or like I'm using right now, the restricted direct lung. <coughs> Yeah, it's a good vape. The, the stainless steel cables, they keep up with the wicking. <coughs> so I pretty much covered everything there. This was the Brunhilde RTA by Vapefly and designed by German 103 team. I like this tank. I like this tank a lot. For the rest, I got nothing more to tell you about it. Showed you all the features, how to build it. And that was it for me guys, so I'll see you next time. Take care, bye bye.